Hi guys, it is another lovely hot summer's day here in the southeast, and it is still the summer holidays. Yay! Yay, yay, yay! Um, I've been to Home Bargains today with Chloe because she needed some hay for the guinea pigs, and I'm running out of activities that I can do with Hayley and Nathan. So I thought we'd go there and um, get some arts and crafty bits and um, just chill at home for a little while rather than keep going out and um, try and do some arts and crafty bits. And then while I was there, Chloe put a few things in the trolley as she usually does. We picked up some of the items that we normally get from Home Bargains and then I got um, Ah, that was it. Some bits ready for school and college because Chloe starts college in a few weeks and Hayley starts secondary school in a few weeks. And although Hayley won't need to take any um, supplies with her, I still would like to provide her with some so that she doesn't feel like she's been forgotten or not bothered with like when Hayley, uh, when Chloe and Shane started secondary school. We are in my bedroom and... It is a very hot bedroom at the moment. Hayley and Nathan are chilling in the front room and Nathan is getting very hot and grumpy. So that is why I've come in my bedroom to try and record it quickly rather than try and do it in the kitchen and keep them quiet. At least here I can shut the door. Chloe is about, so if he does really start, sure, entertain him for a little while while I just finish this video up. It is a huge, and I mean huge, home bargains haul. I've laid it out all on my bed rather than me just lift up item by item and show you and I can't lay it out on the kitchen side like I said. So please ignore the mess the other side of my bed because it's a pile up of clothes and stuff but I have laid it out all on my bed for you and I will show you what we picked up from home bargains i.e. me and Chloe. So let's show you shall we? Right, I said it was a big one, didn't I? So we've got some, I've tried to get some sort of organisation to it, but not really. We've got toys and homey bits. We've got health and cosmetic bits, artsy crafty bits, um, organised hay foodie bits for the animals, and then we've got our foodie bits. So just ignore this bit of mess around here. Just ignore that. That is real life. No one's house is perfect. And this definitely is no show home. So we'll start to the left of my bed. And then we'll work right. Okay. So I needed another dustpan and brush. Because as per usual, Chloe broke her one when cleaning out the guinea pigs. So she ran off with my one for, that I use for the house. So I needed another dustpan and brush. I saw these really cute baskets. It's... um. A two pack of straw baskets one is inside the other one I double checked it is in there see there it is and I just thought these would look nice um, I'm hoping down the end of the dining room um, or maybe on like the tortoises or something and then I can just throw all my odds and sods and junk in there or you know when you do like a mad dash to clean up the house when you know someone's coming I can just throw it all in there and then it's hidden isn't it but they were lovely. I really like them. So that's why I picked them up. Got Nathan another ball because one of Chloe's friends popped his ball at the barbecue. And Nathan loves his balls. As you all know, he's happy with balls. So I just picked him up a cheap one that can go back out in the garden. And then he ran it rummaged into the bag as soon as I got home and picked out this. I got him a magnet. I thought he'd have fun walking around the house trying to stick it to things and see what's metal and what's not or he will just tie um, string to it or his toys and dangle it off there but I remember Shane having a magnet like that but he can't remember where he's put it so I just picked Nathan up one of them and then we got some water bomb balls there to go out in the big pack in the big swimming pool I can uh, throw them out there later for when the kids go in it with Steve and then something I've not seen before, um, fidget worm. You can squeeze, warp. I've not seen it. Um, I've got one for Hayley and one for Nathan. 
Chloe said they're funny, so she, I'm guessing she's seen them, so she'll know what to do with them. Then we'll go down to this section, which is like all the, the, the only few bits of toiletries that we needed, really. Razors, self-explanatory. I needed a smaller bottle of this once a day face serum. This is mainly for Chloe. Um, I smother all the kids in the 50 plus sun lotion every day before they get dressed. And then I top them up with all the sprays and all that lot. But at least if they've got a baseline of that. And um, obviously she's sleeping out around her friends a lot more now. And she's not going to want a great big bottle of sun cream in her bag. So a small bottle of face sun cream will be good for her. I needed some lemon fragranced bin liners for all the little bins in everyone's bedrooms. And then I'm going to go down on my knees, um, some hair removal cream. Uh, I've got the sensitive and soothing, self-explanatory hair removal. A charcoal peel face mask. I'm just going to stick this on my nose. I'm going to take my nose stud out and then just cover my nose in that because I keep getting a breakout around my nose and hopefully that will clear out all the pores around my nostrils and stuff. Obviously, having a lot of sun at the moment, I am limiting how much sun the kids have. But it's not fair keeping them all cooped up all the time. So when they've been out in the sun or the pool, they come in, have showers, and then I cover them in after sun. We've got the after sun moisturising lotion, and then the after sun aloe vera gel. They can choose which one they want to use there. And then for myself, again, to try new things, I got this tea tree facial scrub. So hopefully that will um, clear up my um, breakout. I don't usually break out, but certain times of the month and with all my hormones up all over the place at the moment, my skin is awful. Same as I got this tea tree fo foaming face wash so it's like that like a clear liquid and then um, you pump it out and it's like a mousse so i've picked that up to try mama needs some pro plus so i picked up two of them two boxes i don't drink coffee i don't drink tea so when i need a little pick me up i have one of them it's just the equivalent of a cup of coffee and then we'll go to the back we have got some art arty crafty bits for Haley and nathan it's a craft platter it's an assortment of stickers, shapes, sequins and all that sort of stuff. I thought they'd have fun sticking that lot down. I got it in the pastel and in the bright colours. And then you've got pom-poms and that in there as well. And then to store them, I got this like um, organiser. It's like a tackle box really. So I can put all their artsy crafty bits in there. When they're finished, so hopefully they don't end up all over the house. But having a house of a toddler, chances are they are going to end up everywhere. But if it keeps them happy for a little while, happy kids, happy mum. Uh, I got a little watercolour paint and brush set to go in their craft trolley. Nathan needed some batteries and I don't normally buy Duracell batteries. Um, but he has some cars that go around on a track and no matter what batteries I put in there, like cheap ones, they last two minutes because he just puts it on and then sits and watches the cars go around. So I've bought Duracell in the AAA and the AA and I'm hoping they last longer than the cheap ones. I really do. Then more artsy crafty bits. We've got a bumper pack of... Um, Lolly sticks, pom poms, and goggly eyes, and lolly sticks, and all that lot. And then throwing things on the floor now. To stick it all down, we've got a big pot of PVA glue, a couple of Pritt sticks, and then this um, glue set which has Pritt stick, clear glue, wet glue, and more PVA glue. So that'll be good for them. We've got some stamp markers. Although Nathan will probably end up colouring in with them anyway. But can we see what they actually stamp out or not? No, I think it's just an assortment. Oh, and they're double-ended as well. So that's good. He can colour with them. And then we'll go to the back. I've got another big plastic drawer unit. 
because I bought two off of Amazon a couple of weeks back and I want to move the one that I have stored in the utility room, I want to put that in the pantry with the other one so that I can organise the pantry. So this one will go in my utility room with all my cleaning cloths and cleaning products and all that. So that's the method to my madness for that one. Then we've got Chloe's bits. She wanted a money tin, so she chose that one. She chose some frosted rose gold glasses. Then for college, although we don't know what she's actually going to need yet, she started getting notebooks and all that. So she's picked up this lovely lilac -y one with a band that goes around it. And it is literally just straight striped paper or lined paper. And I'm throwing it everywhere now. If you can guess, Chloe likes lilac. Then she's got another one, but a cheaper version. And then she's got A4 pad of paper that is hole punched. So she'll be able to put that in her folders with all her notes and coursework in. So that's them. Oi! Oh, I've got Princess trying to get in. She's got a Nerf bullet. Um, so that's those bits. Then she got some more guinea pig treats. She's got the carrot and dandelion sticks for them. I picked up some more cat food because, again, Zoo Plus is late delivering my cat food. And I, I'm getting peed off of it, so I think I'm going to look elsewhere to pick it up. But for now, whiskers it is. And then back down here, Chloe picked out these pens for college. I picked out these pens for Hayley because I thought she'd like them. And then she can choose her pencil case and stuff. I got an array of some new paintbrushes for Hayley. Whether they're for now or to put by for Christmas, I'm not 100% sure. So for now, they're going to stay in my bedroom. And then if I need to pull them out, I will. But I'm pretty sure she's still got some paintbrushes. But my method to madness, I got these like, like arty ones, fine tip. And they are really pretty. So there's those ones, some fatter ones, and then a bigger set as well. But she does like painting and stuff. And we're trying to, um, how to say it, we're trying to um, encourage her hobbies more rather than sitting on her phone and watching TV all the time. But because of them, I well, I got the paint paintbrushes because I got her these paint by numbers, and it's a dolphin kit. Because she loves her animals. And then she loves flowers as well. So I got her these two. And I thought either now on a rainy day during the summer holidays. Or whether they can go in the Christmas drawer ready for her for Christmas. That's them. Then we've got Nathan. A dinosaur colouring book. And it is big print as you can see. Trying to encourage him to do a bit more fine motor skills. And the grasping of the pens and everything. So we got him that and then I'm going to stand up and then we'll go towards the hay at the back. We got two big hays. They were like two fifty six, Really good price. Got some sweet and salty popcorn. That is six or is it five? Six snack size packs. Hayley and myself do love a bit of popcorn. We've got some pink and white because I love them. I've got another Mayfair, uh, sorry, Mayflower medium curry sauce. I've got the kids some, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go around sideways, it's easier. So you can see these. Pack of five of chocolate filled croissants. I've got two of them. I just got the plain chocolate today. Sometimes you can get the chocolate and the vanilla cream ones, but I've just got them. Then the usual buy of Walters. Yes, I know the kids are not school, and I do usually send these with them for pack lunches, but the kids are going out a little bit, so this is an ideal size for them to put in their bag so that I know that they stay hydrated. Chloe, I managed to get her three bottles of the apple and raspberry, finally, because they've not had that in stock, and then I managed to get three of the strawberry and kiwi, which seems to be a very popular flavour, but they always have that in stock. Then I got all three kids a big bottle of Oasis because they love that. As well as what else they love is instant noodles. So I got four packets of the chicken flavoured noodles. And in here you get six individual packs. So therefore 
lunches, snacks, light dinners on a hot day like this will meet when I don't feel like cooking and they don't feel like eating. So at least even when it cools down like eight, nine o'clock at night and they're becoming a bit peckish, we could just cook some instant noodles or something like that. Yes, I know it's not the most nutritional meal. I know that. But at the end of the day, I don't care as long as they have food in their bellies, to be truthful. They eat loads of fruit, they eat loads of veg throughout the day, throughout the week. I'm not worried about their diet at all. And then we're picking, we pick these up. Hopefully Nathan will try these because he is starting nursery in a week or so. And he will be going four days a week, including lunches so we are experimenting with different foods trying to encourage him to try new foods and foods that are suitable to go to nursery for him to have as lunch and snack and we thought these would be good for him because they're little mini biscuits and then chloe got a couple of roast chicken mug shots they're like 49p she loves them microwave popcorn we love this at night time i got this flavor which i've not seen before caramel and I've got three of them, and then one of the sweet. It was four for a pound, so we've got them. Nathan loves these, like, milk slices. He likes the Nesquik and the Milky Bar. And in Home Bargains, it's the cheapest I've seen them. One pound nine for a four-pack. So I've picked up two of them. Then the usual staple that we always have in the fridge is the Home Bargains Sauté Chicken Skewers. I've got four of them this time. And then I can't go there without getting some flying saucers. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six packets. And they're quite reasonably priced as well and a decent size bag. So that is everything that we got from Home Bargains. I am absolutely knackered. I am sweating. I am hot. I need to go spray some water on my face and chill underneath the fan for a little while. I hope you enjoyed this video and liked to see what I got and got some ideas of some items that you might not have known that was in home bargains at the moment. And um, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. It really does help my channel out so much and I love each and every one of you so much. I don't think you guys realise how much you get me through a bad day, to be truthful. I just read some of your comments and it really does help lift my mood. Thank you so much. I'm going to get this lot put away and I'm going to go sit under the fan. I hope you are all enjoying the last couple of weeks of the summer holidays and I hope to see you again soon. Take care guys. Bye.